Freedom's greetings, Helldivers. We have leaks of the new armor sets coming to the game. New weapons including the Eruptor, which will be the best primary ever. New leaks of the Illuminate enemies. A video of the Nuke Stratagem and new leaked broadcasts that talk about the upcoming Cyberstan invasion and about the Illuminate. It's gonna be a packed video, so let's not waste any time. But before we get into it, if you like Helldivers 2 and you want to stay up to date on the latest news, leaks and updates, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on. Let's roll. Firstly, let's talk about the upcoming Warbond. We should get it very soon since it's already the month of April and it seems Arrowhead released these once a month. It will be called the Democratic Detonation Warbond. You can check some of my previous videos for more of the weapons that will be featured in it. Now let's get into these armor leaks as all of these look simply stunning and I cannot wait to get my grubby hands on them. First off we had this armor set. It looks like it might be from the May Warbond since it already has that hunter theme going on. One important part is that maybe we could get new passives since it has happened before for leaked armor to be shown with one passive but to be released with a new one. Next we'll go with this elite trooper looking armor. It's a medium armor set but honestly it looks like it could be a heavy one. I'll probably rock it from time to time if it's not from the super credit store that is. Then keeping up with the Star Wars ripoff theme we got this droid looking scout armor. I'm loving the helmet and that belt buckle. Next we have this really big boy set. Heavy set, big boned and extra padding, so you know why you're sacrificing your speed. Right after we have this armor set which will henceforth be known as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Again, extra padding and a big boy. Now this is the best looking armor we've seen so far, at least if you ask me. I am loving the graffiti theme and I'd probably drop some credits on it, especially since it has that fortified passive. Going back to the more basic armors, we have this marine set. You will see why it doesn't have arms in the next armor, but it will actually be sleeveless. I never even thought about that, but now that I've seen it, I cannot wait to get it in-game. We have another armor set which has this marine trooper looking theme and I'm loving that bullet belt, but the best part is that ghost-like helmet. I get it just for that. The fact that your big manly arms will show through the armor make it have an absurdly cool factor that I just cannot deny. Henceforth, this will be known as the Rambo armor. Now, do you remember the new rocket launcher I featured about a week ago? It seems it's called the Airburst rocket launcher, used for primarily fighting airborne units. It acts like the Eagle Strike cluster bombs. Most likely, it won't be effective against heavily armored units, but it does look like it will be great at getting rid of airborne enemy units and smaller buggers on the ground, since, as you can see, it does actually spray down from the explosion point. It comes with a backpack, so you'll need a buddy, or you have to drop the energy shield. I know, I hate that idea too. And here's a closer look at the backpack itself. It comes with 5 rockets, so you get 6 shots before needing to resupply. We also have 3 leaked models of the new weapons. Seems like we're finally getting a new SMG, what looks like a new assault rifle that's quite large, so hopefully another with medium armor pan, and a new LAS weapon which is kinda thick. It's different from what we already have in game, which you can tell by the tubing and either it's missing a handle, or my personal headcanon is that it would actually be an LAS shotgun. Wouldn't that be cool? We also have leaked models of another new shotgun by the looks of it. It's kind of like the ARC Blitzer SG, but kinda not. And what's more exciting, an improved model of the bolt action rifle. Now that I expect to be a beast of a weapon. It will need to have medium armor penetration judging by the looks alone. Get ready to yeehaw brother. We also got a video of the nuke stratagem. Its visual is not yet added into the game, but we can get a good idea of how big the explosion will be and what kind of damage it will cause. It seems like it will be a destructive piece of kablooey. However, it also has a ridiculous cooldown. It shows as being 20 minutes, but with the stratagem increased debuffs, which may or may not be active, it could be lower. Would it be good? I doubt it a bit because of the cooldown, but at least it's absolutely annihilating the entire bug nest. So, who knows? As you might have noticed, there's also some gameplay of the recon and light armored vehicles in the background. Since I've covered these extensively in previous videos, I'm not really gonna stop on them. They're cool, they're interesting, let's move on. The thing that I'm actually most excited about and I'm praying we get with the Democratic Detonation Warbond is the R36 Eruptor. This thing is a heavy sniper with explosive rounds. It can take down most things in one or two shots. It makes huge boom booms and it can destroy in only two shots spore spewers, automaton fabricators, illegal broadcast towers, automaton mounted heavy turrets, rocket devastators, hoax if you shoot the weak spot, three shot chargers and six shot tanks which is impressive when you consider usually you need to drop an ego on these things. This thing is completely insane and I remember one guy commented on my video where I first featured it. But don't you know the autocannon can do the same? 
Yes, it can, but it's a support weapon. This is a primary. The Eruptor does need a long time to reload between shots and it will probably not have a lot in reserve, but I still think it will be top tier. There is also this video of the displacement pack. To be absolutely fair, it looks like it might be halfway useful. It currently does not have a visual effect, but it does work and we can see the range of the teleport. It's not half bad, however it will depend on how long the cooldown is. At the moment, I'm dubious. We also have new tests of the missile silo stratagem. It looks like it's an absolute monster for taking down objectives. One shot is enough to take down a stratagem jammer or a detector tower. The utility is off the charts. I'll let as many clips play out as I can without stretching out the video too much, but I am loving what I'm seeing. It can take down a bio titan, a hulk, a freaking tank and most other things. It might be a full on must have if it stays unchanged and considering we keep on getting new enemy and objective types I hope we get this version of it. It will all depend on its uses and or its cooldown. Depending on how many times you can fire one off you might need to save it for those stratagem jammers because they are incredibly annoying to deal with. And let's finish off with the illuminate leaks. Firstly, thanks to a good friend of the channel Iron Sights, we have the Illuminate Summoner, animated and ready for action. This thing looks sick, and also it looks like it's gonna be a problem. He also provided the community with a shot of the Illuminate Beamer. Now we can see these guys will have a shield and shoot at us from its safety. I'm starting to think the explosive stuff will be for dealing with these annoying buggers. There are also a couple of shots of the Illuminate structures. They are still 3D models and not even textured yet, but we can get a good idea of the theme for these guys. To me, their structures do look a little bit Egyptian. What do you think? And finally, we can see what the Illuminate portal will look like. Maybe it will be only featured in a news broadcast. We cannot be sure, but if we get to see it from a planet looking up, that would be really dope. But also considering the arrangement of the previous structures, it might be just one of the portals that we get to see. And maybe these guys will be coming out of the portals, you know, kind of Stargate style, which would be so freaking cool. And here is where I would like to emphasize that all of the leaks that I've shown you in previous videos are coming true one after the other and they are coming into fruition. So trust me on this one, this is how things are going to play out. And to close this whole thing off, I will put the leaked news broadcasts. The first one talks about the Cyberstan invasion, which I believe will happen very soon. The second one talks about the Illuminate's arrival, so make sure you check these out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel for more Helldivers 2 news, leaks and other videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Freedom's greetings, I'm Coretta Kelly. In a shocking development, a massive automaton fleet has invaded Cyberstan and the surrounding systems. Early reports indicate that this armada may be over 10 times larger than all previously encountered automaton forces. Currently, there is no information about the source of these new automatons or their connection to the automaton forces encountered previously. The unprovoked assault lasted merely hours, quickly overwhelming the relatively undefended planets on the galactic fringe. The president has already issued a response, saying, This attack occurred as we were nearing a permanent end to conflict with the automatons. Now, it is clear that there can be no peace until every automaton is utterly destroyed. The Helldivers have begun a counteroffensive operation with the ultimate objective of retaking Cyberstan, the apparent base of automaton operations. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. Good evening. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. What you're looking at here is recently released footage from the Ministry of Defense showing an interstellar object that seems to resemble an Illuminate void ship. The Illuminate have long been considered eradicated following the First Galactic War, but this video is causing some to question if any somehow survived. Officials say they have not yet confirmed whether the object is truly Illuminate in origin, but that they are considering all possibilities. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly.